Now, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Did I miss something? Uh, since we're here to gather flowers for the dead, I thought I'd teach Manfred some plant names. But I just caught him attempting to wade into a rose bush. <laughs> Emmerich, how could you stay annoyed at that face? Skull. <laughs> oh, Manfred. Whatever will happen to you if I pass on? If? Ah, there's something I'd like to talk about. Do you know what a lich is, Rook? Doesn't ring a bell. A lich? is a mage transformed into one of the undead while retaining their true, original consciousness. The idea fascinated me when I was younger. For years, I researched and experimented, spoke with spirits and mages. Then, eventually, I found them. Who? The lich lords of the Grand Necropolis. Necromancers before me who'd transformed themselves into true, living, dead. Not everyone gets to meet their idols. Oh, but I was nervous. The liches are the great protectors of the necropolis, bulwarks against forces that threaten creation. After years of tests and rituals, they granted me my desire, the right to attempt lichdom. If that's what you want, I'd anticipated more... surprise. Emmerich, you live in a haunted necropolis. Lichdom is an incredible honor. Immortality, prestige, the most hallowed ranks of the Watchers. As well as a chance to be of service past my allotted years. But there are considerations. Come, we have flowers to gather for the dead. Okay, but I've got questions. Blue creep vine. This will do nicely. Emmerich, aren't most undead just random spirits inside corpses? Liches are different. It wouldn't be a spirit acting in my name. My true consciousness would be housed in my departed flesh. How? The Order must keep some secrets. Ah, moon blossoms, famed in verse and song. Hmm, <laughs> smells like perfume. Do liches have a sense of smell? I've been told that while some of my senses will dull, others will become available. Other than that, I can't say if the flowers would still hold their bloom for me. Lichdom serves a purpose. There are dark things in creation, threats to both our world and the Fade. The liches of the necropolis have the insight and the abilities to oppose them. And you're joining them... When? Certain elements have held me back. There's no ready instructions for lichdom. The steps must be discovered on one's own over years to be fully understood. Does the spell to become a lich kill you, or do you have to... No, mercifully, that falls to another Watcher. 
After my death, my soul will be drawn back into my body instead of moving on to whatever lies beyond. So, what's holding you back from Lichdom? Even with all my preparations, there's a chance I could die, permanently, during the rites. What cowardice! The promise of immortality, an end to all my fears, and the final veil stays my hand. If you want Lichdom that badly, you have to go for it. I always thought I'd find the courage when I grew older. Traditionally, candidates for Lichdom face one final sifting of the soul. If they avoid it, you saw my old colleague. Hezenkos? She's a Lich? A half-Lich, though that hasn't diminished her powers. Until I stop her plans, I won't possess the peace of mind for Lichdom. Why don't you select the next flowers, Rook? Sure. So what's a half-lich, exactly? Johanna attempted the rites of lichdom and failed. Stuck in her in-between state, she is supremely dangerous, but can't learn any new magic. No wonder Hezenkos was shouting so much. No, oh, she's always been that way. What about the sifting of a soul that Hezenkos avoided? The spirits of the Necropolis judge whether a candidate is worthy of the power and responsibility of Lichdom. How'd she become a Lich without it? I shared some knowledge when we were colleagues. She apparently put together more than I knew. It would be just like her to skip the rituals, the cleansings, the preparations of the soul. For a watcher, Hezenkos is pretty harsh on spirits. We made allowances because of her discoveries. Too many. Spirits are not things to be disposed of. You really care about them. They're so susceptible to the world's whims, Rook. Some spirits are dangerous, but how quickly most respond to a bit of kindness, or care, or simple attempt to understand. For all she's done, I can't condemn Johanna for attempting lichdom. That freedom from mortality, that divorce from fear. And of course, time to read all of one's books. Every mage's dream. But how she's abused her abilities. Are my intentions enough to fare better? Worrying's a good sign. We have enough flowers. There's something I'd like to show you. Here we are. Oh, so these flowers are for... Yes. If you could place them on the graves, please. In memory of Rupert and Eleonora Volcarin, they walk eternity hand in hand. After I became a watcher, I erected a proper shrine to my parents. When I come to talk, I like to think they listen. Well, don't be shy. Introduce yourself. Rook, it's a pleasure. Do you remember your parents? 
Some memories are bright. Others are akin to those dim early morning dreams one gets sometimes. Lately, I wondered what they'd think of our current course, the choices ahead. Your lichdom? What would they have wanted me to be? I can tell you what I think they'd want you to be. What's that? Happy. You could always speak with your folks, couldn't you? My parents last saw me as a boy. By the time I mastered my corpse whispering, I was a man. If I woke them, there might be a flash of recognition, or... Besides, if I speak to too many other spirits, Manfred might grow jealous. <laughs> Can't have that. He'd be impossible, I agree. <laughs> 